What's going on everybody? JT here coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Go and today is the beginning of the late Guardian event thingy and speaking of which I just defeated my first ever Desperate so I'm very very happy about that. Hopefully we'll get a good one. I have no idea if that's a good CP I really should have looked that up, but yeah very 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 happy about it got some friendship there as well now let's hope fingers crossed that this is a good one and also I need to catch this thing, and I need to put you guys down for that, because I do not want to waste any balls on this. Okay, you guys are in a great spot, now let's catch this thing. I am very excited because this is my first ever Mesprit. As I said before, I've never traded for this or anything. I did trade for the UC forever ago, but never had to trade for this one. So, let's do our best and try to get some good shots on this thing, because unfortunately, the late Guardians were never easy to throw on. So let's just try the first ball. Great curveball throw, though. Happy about that. Thought I underthrew a little bit there, so I'm happy how that turned out. One. Not on the first ball, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's just keep going with it. Oh, I'm so excited. It's a pity these things couldn't be shiny, but I understand why they weren't. Even though this is the second time they've ever come out, this is the first time that everybody around the world has been able to participate. I really thought that was going to be it right there. Dang it. All right, but yes, it is unfortunate that they can't be shiny, but when they come back again, for sure they'll be shiny, and of course we'll have remote raid passes, so it'll be fine. Wait for the attack and throw. Great curveball throw yet again. Please, please just give it to me right here. No, okay. Let's try this again when you're in the air this time. Not a great curveball throw. Again, these are kind of hard to hit good throws on, for me at least. Mm, man, I was really hoping. All right, breathe, it's fine. Set the circle and wait for the attack. You know what, I'm not gonna wait. I'm impatient and not a great throw, but I've gotten things on bad throws before. One, two, oh my God, come on. I'm also a little bit worried about this because it's about time for these to be wrapping up in other countries. I believe this one's from Portugal, so yeah. If I don't get this one, there's a high chance that I might not actually get one today, and I wanna get one today for the video, obviously, and just for the collection, so. Oh, sticky screen, wonderful. But yes, hopefully we'll just pull this one off. Yet again, a bad throw, though. Come on, please. Nah, just immediately popped out. I deserve that. All right, all right, here, boom. Another terrible throw. I need to be better at throwing at these things. One, nope. All right, final eight balls. Come on, boom. Terrible throw yet again. I'm really bad at throwing at these things. One, two, yes, there we go. On three, whew. I was worried. I really thought I wasn't again to get this thing, but there it is, registered to the Pokedex. Huh, finally, we got all three of them. I'm really happy. Now let's look at these terrible IVs, shall we? Yeah, as I thought, not great, but I don't care. We got it. Now we don't even have to worry about it until it's shiny, so that's great. Now that we've caught that Mesprit, it's time to go shiny Goldeen hunting. That's the only other thing we really have to do for this event, because everything else I already have. There's one right here that isn't shiny. The way you can tell is that this thing is a lighter orange when it's shiny. It's not exactly the most exciting shiny in the world. It's kind of like Slowpoke from the last event. You can tell when you see it, but to be honest with you, you're gonna have to squint for a second and go, is that it? So one thing I'm noticing about Goldeen is that its spawn rates are not amazing, but I've been getting a lot of tweets from people who have gotten the shiny like pretty much right away, and I feel like it may have a higher shiny rate. In fact, one person tweeted at me saying that they got two in one incense, which is insanely either insanely lucky or the shiny rate's higher, but it's still lucky to get two off of one incense, even with higher rates. That's still incredible, so congrats to you. And also guys, if you do end up actually getting the shiny right away in an event, please tweet it at me. And also follow me on Twitter. Sometimes I give little spoilers as to things that are coming up. In fact, if you follow my Twitter, you might have actually seen something that's gonna be showing up later on in this video. But yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find a shiny soon because I really, really want it because obviously it's the brand new shiny and it is decently good as a Sea King in PvP under certain conditions and it would be fun to have a shiny one to flex for that. So I've been hunting for a little bit. I've seen a few Goldeens, but sadly, none shiny. Obviously, otherwise you would have seen it. But I do have three of the tasks, which are to catch five water types. They can give you Goldeens. So let's see if we get lucky. Come on. Nope, not on number one. That's fine. 477, that's good. But I believe 493 is the hundo. So good luck to you on that one. Hopefully you guys get a hundo shiny. I mean, I don't know if a shundo one of these is good, but who cares, right? Another 477, that's very strange. And last but not least, are you shiny? No, you're not, and the CP is 486. That's the best one I've seen so far. That's cool. Okay, I've managed to find three more of these things. They are a lot more sparse than the Slowpoke quests, but whatever. Hopefully that means that the shiny rate's a little higher. Well, let's go with number one. Not a shiny still, what is your CP? Yeah, 475, that is not amazing. Let's just keep on rolling with this one. 
Please, number two, not shiny still. I just, I wanna see that lighter color. And what did I incense? Okay, not a Goldeen. That's all that I care about in this event, really. Number three, not a shiny. Fine. And that a 483 though. It's not as good as the, mo the best one we've gotten, but at least we're getting decent ones. I've got some five kilometer eggs here. From what I remember reading, there's a chance Goldeen can come out of these. They're kind of doing the same thing as the last event, so. That's a Bonsley though, really Bonsley. Interesting, I didn't think those were in there anymore. That actually makes me very, very happy because we could get a shiny one, which would be amazing. But let's move on to egg number two. Maybe this one will give us the shiny Goldeen, por favor. Hey, but it's a Goldeen nonetheless, not shiny sadly, and the IVs on it are, see a 641 is okay, but obviously we want better than that. Egg number three, what you gonna be? Abra. Egg number four, come on, another fish. No, God. Egg number five is another Goldeen, okay. The Goldeen rates seem pretty decent. And this should be the last egg. We only had six of them. So number six, Seal. That's cool. I mean, I don't need it anymore, but it's always a fun shiny to run into when you do get one. That one is terrible, so definitely try to get something better than a 513. Now that those eggs are done though, we did have three more of these things to check, so let's do it. I'm gonna do as many as possible until we get the shiny set. So, number one is not good and has terrible, terrible CP, but that's fine, because number two is gonna be far better and sparkly. No, it's not gonna be sparkly, that's fine. And, ooh, 484. I wanna see one in the 490s. And the third one, come on, please. No, not shiny, and 490, hey, well, at least that wish was granted. Hopefully next time it'll be shiny in the 90s. All right, guys, it is now 6 p.m., which means it is the Barboach Spotlight Hour, which is gonna be fun. It's gonna see a lot of big old noodle fish everywhere. It's gonna be fun to see it. It can be shiny, obviously, and it's really good for PvP if you get a good one. And wow, there is only three of them here. I really expected there to be more, but that's fine. Let's go for a shiny. I don't need this shiny, but it would be cool to get it. Though, unfortunately, they are weather boosted, which means they're not gonna have good PvP IVs. I think there's a third one here. I think it's like inside of the, uh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. I can barely see it inside of my Machoke there that I incense. Let's just try. Yeah, I don't see, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to grab that one, but yeah. Let's hunt around. Let's see what happens. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a shiny, but if not, I'm also just gonna be cr catching like crazy because, you know, this extra XP per catch and I'm trying to get to 176 million XP so I can hit re level 50 really soon. So, let's hunt. And just like that, sadly, the Barboach Spotlight Hour is over. But you know something that isn't over? My friendship with Ivan. How's it going, buddy? What up, what up? What's going on, everybody? Well, and I say that right now, but it all depends on who gets the first Shiny Goldeen. Because you know this friendship is going to end real soon. Yep. If you get it. No. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be me, though. My luck has been really bad um, this month so far, but meh. Nah. I mean, we'll you say that, foraging. but maybe it's all been adding up to this point and you're just gonna go off and you're gonna get like two shundos. It happens just like that one day where you got like, what, eight, nine Chinese in one day? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> so, fingers crossed, something will happen. Hopefully it won't be a screaming person from outside attacking us. Yeah, but that was kinda weird. <laughs> that was really weird. But anyways, we're gonna hunt, we're gonna try to get some Chinese, 
and we'll see what happens. Let's get it. And who could have guessed that the first shiny was gonna be the Nest shiny, Shiny Onyx. It's a big one though, 755, weather boosted, so it's cool. I again would not mind this to be a Shundo only because it does have a Mega Evolution, which may be good. It's a steel and ground type, so those would at least boost those typings, which would be nice. It won't be as good as uh, Mega Garchomp though. That'll probably be the best ground type in, in the game once it becomes a Mega. Or Mega Metagross. Mega Metagross is probably gonna destroy it too, but those are probably not gonna come for a very long time because those things are amazing. Unlike this IV, oh my God, this thing is awful, but hey, we got a green poop snake, so that's cool. One eternity later. Well, a lot of time has passed, and I didn't get any more shinies, but this guy actually did gotcha the shiny Goldeen, which is really cool. So, that's neat for him, though the friendship is officially over now, like I said before, so. It's over for you, baby. <laughs> I am happy you got it, though. It looks pretty nice. I mean... It, it barely changes that much, but I am still happy you got it, so. Thank you, thank yeah, you. It's good, it's good stuff. I actually got something amazing recently. In fact, I got it two days ago, and I want you to see it. But in order to do that, I gotta send you back in time. That's usually what we gotta do for this. So, bye Ivan, good seeing you. Later, later. Might probably see him in the next video, depends. We'll see what's going on, but yeah. I'll see you when you get back. Hello, people of the future. JT of the past here, and look what I just incensed. A shiny freaking slowpoke. I am so happy. This is number three. We don't have to do anything now for the rest of this event because I have every other shiny, but I am so happy. I'm hoping that this thing has good IVs as I do with all my shinies that I get because obviously you want to get good shinies, but it doesn't matter in the end of the day because now we have the complete set. Either this one or the first one I got is going to be a slowbro and that is going to be able to mega evolve into a shiny mega slowbro. So let's just take a look at these IVs. Wow. That's a if only that HP was just a lot higher, but you know what? We're gonna favorite it. I am so freaking happy right now. I really cannot believe it. I really, really cannot believe we just got this thing. I was worried. I was out with Ivan late last night, just grinding like crazy. We got a few shinies, quite a few good ones actually, but not one of them was a slowpoke. And now we got them all. I can't believe it. I really cannot believe this. <laughs> ah, but anyways, we'll take you back to the present or the future or whatever we're gonna consider this. And yeah, we're probably going to evolve this thing. Welcome back, everybody. As you can tell, I am back in my house, and we're about to wrap this thing up. But before we can do that, let's just dive into our shinies. We only got two of them in this video, which is not a lot. We got an Onyx, and we got a Slowpoke. I'm obviously very happy about the Slowpoke, but the other shinies I was mentioning in the car that I got with Ivan previously were this shiny Alolan Diglett, which was pretty cool. I think this came off of an Incense, and then there's also a shiny Porygon, which is okay. I mean, it's a Calm Day shiny, so it's not the most exciting thing, but whatever. Let's complete the shiny Slowpoke family and turn it into a shiny Slowbro. I'm very excited for this because Shiny Slowbro looks really good. I like it quite a bit. The purple skin, the shell is going to turn a nice goldish color. So here it comes in three, two, one. There it is. I mean, look at that. That's a good shiny. I really like that. I kind of wish that these are the colors that Slow King had. And in fact, let's do this real quick. Let's look up all of them because we have all of them now. So we'll just put and plus slow. There we go. So there's the complete family. I mean, you know, it's good. It's very pale shiny for Slowpoke. Slow King is much more of a darker pink with the blue frill and stuff like that. And then Slow Bro is purple with a nice, like, goldish shell. To be honest with you, I really feel like it would have been more amazing if they actually did that with the crown on him. Like, he should have had the gold crown as well. Because that, I mean, it's, you know, it was royal, you know what I mean? Have a gold shiny crown? That'd be amazing. But nonetheless, I am very happy that this set is done Hopefully we can get lucky and get ourselves a Goldeen Shiny very soon because I cannot for the life of me get one like this incensed one. That's not shiny. That would have been insanely cool. I will say that I was wrong in terms of the spawn rate. It seems like they're spawning a quite a bit more and I'm very, very happy about that. I'm getting them off the incense quite often, which is neat. And I doubt that the shiny rate is any higher because of that. I'm just assuming that people have gotten very lucky and good job to literally every one of you who has gotten one already. That's awesome. Nothing like getting the shiny on day one. I'm very happy for you all. Hopefully, again, we will be able to pull in that luck in the future. But yeah, man, I mean, I think this is going to be a fun little week. You know, the only thing I really have to hunt for right now is those Goldeens. So once I get those, it's over. So part of me is kind of happy that we didn't finish it right away. Because, you know, then we wouldn't really have much else to do for the rest of the week. So, yeah. 
Today's positive comment shout out goes to Jesse. I opened my second Meltan box Friday night, was about halfway through and got a shiny, was more thrilled when I checked the stats and it's a 98%. Well, man, that is freaking huge, amazing. Like, huge congratulations, dude. I'm really happy you got that. Hopefully it has a 15 in attack, because obviously that is more preferable, but even if not, who cares? That's a shiny eight, that is huge. Please tell me that you've evolved it, that you've maxed it out, and that you've given it a second move. Preferably, it has Thundershock, Super Power, and Rock Slide. Those are the best moves to have on it, especially for like Master League PvP, but again, dude, that's insanely rare. Congratulations. Like, wow. And with all that being said, this is going to be the end of the video. And if you've enjoyed it, and I really hope you have, please smash that like button for me. Show me some love. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell icon so you know when I upload. And also comment down below. Have you gotten a shiny goldine yet? How many of them have you gotten? Or are you like me and you haven't gotten one yet? Please let me know in the comments down below. And if you really enjoy my content and you want to help the channel grow even more, there's a link to my Patreon in the description box below. But with that being said, this is the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.